Welcome to the new season of Love Thy Number. I am so excited to share stories from people who are loving the gift of their own Enneagram numbers. I'm Danae King, I'm a Type 7, and I'm so happy to host this conversation with you. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this special edition of Love Thy Number, the podcast. This is an exciting announcement, and I am honored to be able to share this with you. I am a member of the Georgia chapter of the International Enneagram Association, and what this podcast is this time is an announcement of the chapter meeting for November. Now, the exciting thing about this is, due to not being able to gather in person, this is a virtual Um, presentation. And that means you don't have to live in Atlanta to come and join us. You can be anywhere. And so we are going to send out a link to the time or the way to register. It's going to be November 12th, 7 to 9 p.m. And if you are already a chapter member from Georgia, the admission is free. If not, it's only 10 bucks. And my gosh, you guys are going to love this topic. I have with me today, Kevin Smith, who is on the board of the chapter, the Georgia chapter, and Doug King, who is the CEO of Presence International. And I'm going to let Kevin explain what this um, meeting is going to be about in November. So Kevin Smith, tell us what's happening. Danae, thank you for hosting uh, us and for talking about this important issue. Um, In the context of what we're experiencing this November, and especially in Georgia, this is a nail biter where there's a lot of tension There's a lot of things going on and people might be looking for some tools to learn how to cope. And no matter where you land in your partisan sway, you have some uh, possibility for really digging deep into your relationships and examining what's going on at a personal level as well as a collective. And so with the Enneagram and Spiral Dynamics, by studying two tools together, I believe we can gain some real insight about our personal work as well as our group work. So we can look at ourselves individually and then we can look where we fit into the the groups, the social groups that we've chosen to be a part of and see how we can expand and make room for the other as well as ourselves. And so Doug has been studying spiral dynamics and developing these tools. I've been studying the Enneagram and I am very privileged to be able to work with him and present this material uh, November 12th. I'm excited about it. I think the potential that it offers is massive. And I think there's a lot of skills that can be developed with these tools. So a lot of times people feel hopeless not having tools, but then once they have the tools, if they don't have any way to develop skills to use the tools, then they feel even more overwhelmed. And what we're trying to do is help people understand that in the middle of a lot of tension, in the middle of a lot of disagreement, that there is some space for us to create where we can belong and where the other person can belong to. Beautiful. Boy, do we need those tools. And Doug, Explain a little bit about what you'll be sharing from your end. Well, first of all, I just want to thank Kevin Smith very much for the invitation to be part of this particular meeting of the chapter here in Georgia. I've had some great conversations with Kevin, and my understanding of the Enneagram has been greatly expanded uh, through those conversations. And so it's exciting to be part of this particular presentation, as Kevin said, specifically at this time, in our country's history and the different stresses and challenges that we've all had and felt uh, as we have dealt with this uh, year that will go down in infamy, 2020. (laughs) 2020. And uh, from the spiral dynamic standpoint, as Kevin said, it's, it's another processing tool, which you can never have in my mind enough of you can never have too many processing tools. By nature, uh, we are transformative. I mean, the human being is changing from the time we enter the planet and through birth to the time we leave this planet. Our life is defined by change. And that change can go one of two ways. I can either hopefully change in a way that's progressive but I also have the capability to change in a way that's regressive. And so when Kevin and I are talking and going through this uh, session, this two hour session, we'll be talking about how we can uh, get a hold of tools that help us to progress as much as 
possible to have a more abundant life and a life not where we avoid stress, not where we avoid challenges, but rather where we have tools to process that stress when it comes. Because look, as human beings, we're going, we're instinctive creatures and our instinct it has to stress us out because there could be something out there that's going to hurt us. So it could be something out there that's going to destroy us. And especially when it comes to our identities or our perceived identities. And what I love about the Enneagram and the spiral from that perspective is that the more I learn about their complexities. And one of the things in conversations with Kevin that I've seen is that the Enneagram certainly can go to more and more complex uh, understanding and deeper and deeper in, in understanding. The same is true of spiral dynamics. The more I dig and the deeper I go, the more quickly I can process stress, the more quickly I can process my anger. And then of course, I guess, the other thing that's really big to me is the Enneagram and the spiral both help me understand why it is that I have certain perspectives and certain things that I'm drawn to as a way of living through my life conditions and also how other people are dealing with their life conditions. And that means the more I can understand other people as well as myself, the more likely it is that I'll have very positive, vibrant relationships and I will be able to keep communication lines open. And that's one of the things Kevin and I have talked about a lot. And that is when you get in these situations, you can build up walls and those walls put it into two-way communication. And I don't know of anyone who hasn't experienced that in huh. some way or another within their families, with their friends and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm really looking forward to the conversation with Kevin uh, so that we can share our perspectives about the way these two tools integrate because they do integrate. Yes, that's the beauty of being able to have both of these maps, both of these tools. Sorry to interject my own little thought here, but I've been on this, I've been on this journey with Doug for who happens to be my husband yeah. for many years. So I've lived the life of the language of the spiral. And for the last 10 years, I've lived the life of the language and the growth through the Enneagram. And when I see oh, I can develop as an individual through my understanding of the Enneagram and understand the collective growth of the communities, the different uh, groups that we're a part of. That, that was yeah. my two cents. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It just, it's just such an aha yeah. moment when you're like, oh, I get yeah. the worldview part of this and why mm -hmm. it's so important with the Enneagram. Okay. I took up too much time there, but I get very excited. So Kevin, why don't you just remind us the subject and when the, this is going to be held? I will. I will. Doug said something, if I can, real quick about identities. And we, we search out identities, I think, to feel secure. That if we know who we are and we, we feel comfortable with who we are and we have a place in our social context where other people know who we are, we feel like we belong. Mm -hmm. And yet that can get in our way so often because if we identify too strongly with something, it locks us into a position that oftentimes I've had an experience where if I've been passionate about my position <laughs> and realize later after hearing something or something came up that was, you know, opposing to what I believed and I saw something new for the first time and I went, uh oh, uh <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. I took a really hard position on something that, that I thought I was right on and then learned later I wasn't seeing all the picture. And I feel maybe my type comes into here as a type five <laughs> dominant that I'm supposed to know everything right. But that's not exactly true. I think all of us have that kind of experience. All of us have that type five influence inside of us. And so by loosening those perspectives and being able to open up our heart and dialogue with other people, then we can start to find some more space for ourselves and for others without having to maybe walk back a position that we've taken before. And we start to identify in love versus in some sort of party or some sort of position or some sort of doctrine. We can really just start to make some space for other people. And that's what this meeting is about. We're going to dive deep as deep as we can. It's going to be an intro type level, but we're going to get as deep into it. By deep, I mean practical. I'd like to have people have some takeaways. So we're going to have some workshops some like breakout groups where we start to focus on the material 
and kind of breathe into it and make it part of us so that when we leave this meeting, we have something that feels a little more tangible and workable as we move forward. And so it's going to be November 12th from seven to nine. As you mentioned, we're going to have uh, $10 for non-members and it's going to be free for IEA Georgia members. Um, you can register at ieageorgia.org and click on the link there and it'll kind of walk you through how you need to register for it and give you a Zoom link. And as Danae said, we're going to be doing this over Zoom. We've been doing Zoom meetings uh, for most of the year since COVID happened um, or the pandemic happened. So I'm excited about this. Uh, our Zoom meetings have progressively gotten more uh, meaningful and more um, powerful, I believe, in experience. Even though we're separated by computers, we are able to form a connection with one another. I, I have a lot of respect for the people I work with on the board at IEA Georgia, and I think we're doing a phenomenal job, if I can say that for myself here. I am so excited about this meeting. I cannot imagine a more appropriate subject and time that the universe has given us this opportunity to reach out, not just on a local level, but it's for is anybody that wants to join us. So Kevin, one more time, I'll say, cause you said it fast. It's IEA Georgia, spell out Georgia.com. IEA Georgia.com. Dot org. Oh, pardon me? Dot org. Oh, my bad. Dot IEA Georgia.org. And you do spell out the word Georgia. IEA Georgia.org. Link will be in the show notes. We'll put them on the socials. Kevin, Doug, this is just going to be a great opportunity. I'm excited. And thank you guys for this uh, little intro to what's going to happen November 12th. See you on the internet. Thanks today. Thank you.